I am type 1 diabetic, and this is my relationship with hypos. A hypoglycemic attack, or hypo for short, occurs when the level of sugar in the blood drops below a certain level. Most type 1 diabetics can spot the early warning signs and treat themselves. In rare occasions, they don't and can slip into a diabetic coma. Diabetes is one of the only chronic illnesses in the world where the individual sufferer has to self-medicate with a medicine that could potentially kill them if got wrong. What is happening during a hypo is the brain is being starved of energy. This causes it to start to shut down, leaving only essential motor functions working. For a diabetic, this means loss of concentration, an immense feeling of weakness, and a desire to consume as much sugar as possible as quickly as possible. When suffering a hypoglycemic attack, even walking can be more of a chore than it normally is. It's hard to describe to a non-diabetic what it's like to have a hypoglycemic attack. Because in the moment you can't really think. You're not really paying attention to what's going on, you're just thinking, okay, how do I fix this? How do I stop myself from having this attack? What occurs when I have a hypo is I go pale, I sweat profusely, I lose concentration and I find it very hard to make rational decisions, often being only able to think about food and getting something in me that will raise my blood sugar back up. Over the years I've had many hypoglycemic attacks and usually it's the people around me that spot them just before I do or just as I'm starting to feel them, especially if they know me well. One of the common misconceptions about hypoglycemic attack is that a diabetic needs more insulin. This can be fatal. It is important to remember that every diabetic feels and experiences hypoglycemic attacks differently. This is my interpretation. This is my relationship with hypos.